Hey there, it's Amanda with Tap Mom in the Bag Brigade. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotional. And this one is for Thursday, January 11th. And it starts with a Bible verse and goes as follows. Dear friends, this is how, this is now my second letter to you. I have written both of them as reminders to stimulate you to wholesome thinking. 2 Peter 3, 1. Now our inspirational story. You'd think we'd won the lottery at my house when my friend's letter arrives in the mail. My excitement in receiving that fat envelope of handwritten pages rivals that of a child receiving a Christmas stocking stuffed with surprises. Patty and I used to visit in person when we lived in the same state, but since I moved two states away, our visits have been replaced by frequent snail mail correspondence. Good old fashioned handwritten letters epistles as they're called in the bible reading my friend's candid heartfelt letter from afar feels like a chatty heart-to-heart -heart visit i love reading her handwritten words bringing me up to date on the, the events of her life since our last correspondence the experience is further enriched by the faith we share being able to speak freely about jesus and what he's doing in our lives my other favorite letter writer is the Apostle Paul, who composed four famous epistles called the prison letters under, while under house arrest for preaching the gospel. I can just imagine the joy and excitement of the early Christmas upon receiving a personal letter from their beloved spiritual mentor, Paul. I may not get a lengthy letter in the mail every day but i can turn to the bible god's love letter for a heart-to-heart -heart visit with jesus who stimulates my wholesome thinking reminding me about the wonderful things he's done and the promises of what he's going to do cassandra Teresma, faith step are you overdue in corresponding with a long distance friend write a letter today about what Jesus has been doing in your life. Well, I think that's a really good one, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as me. Please remember that I love you and so does Jesus. And I will see you on the next one. Bye now.